Enter God's gates with songs of praise, with praises to God's courts repair, and make it your divine employ to pay your thanks and honors there. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Monday, June the 9th. <clears throat> Please pardon my voice. I'm getting over a cold. Uh, this is week four in the Psalm cycle and the scripture for this service. Psalm 64 and Galatians chapter 4, verse 12 to 20. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, hear my voice, O oh God and protect me from fear of the enemy. Alleluia. Psalm 64. Alleluia, hear my voice, O God. Protect me from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the plots of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of evil, who sharpen their tongues like a sword and shoot bitter words like arrows, that they may ambush the innocent recklessly and suddenly. They encourage themselves in an evil scheme. They conspire to lay secret traps. They say, who shall see us? Who can search out our crimes? But God shall shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly they shall be wounded. They trip over their own tongues, and all who see them shall flee. And all the world shall fear and declare the works of God, for they shall understand God's deeds. And the righteous shall be glad in God and shall trust in God, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O God. Protect me from fear of the enemy. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 12. Friends, I beg you, become as I am, for I also have become as you are. You have done me no wrong. You know that it was because of a physical infirmity that I first announced the gospel to you. Though my condition put you to the test, you did not scorn me nor despise me but welcomed me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus. What has become of the goodwill you felt? For I testify that, had it been possible, you would have torn out your eyes and given them to me. Have I now become your enemy by telling you the truth? They make much of you, but for no good purpose. They want to exclude you so that you may make much of them. It is good to be made much of for a good purpose at all times, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, for whom I am again in the pain of childbirth until Christ is formed in you, I wish I were present with you now and could change my tone, for I am perplexed about you. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers. Oh, dear God, we thank you for bringing us safely to the end of this day. And we thank you 
for the many blessings that you have granted us, especially for the success of the Mercy of God uh, retreat and meeting, and for the hospitality of the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, and for the generosity of our guests, Margie and Jeff and Frank and Joe. Deliver us from hardness of heart. Forgive us our sins and offenses. Let your light shine forth from us. For all who seek you, O tender God, that they may find and be found. That your will may be done in all that we undertake to the benefit of ourselves and our families and friends, the church and all people. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Columba and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Hear our praises, O God of Israel. Preserve us from all enemies. Lead us in your ways and strengthen us in our trust of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.